Hello, and welcome back to episode 43 of Rule the Waves 2, German Brawlers. Now, I used the autosave. We lost a few minutes at the end of the previous battle before it crashed. Here we are at minute 300, just before we turn up northwest to chase down uh, whatever whatever we were chasing. And this will be the Amalfi battle cruiser. Yeah, there's the radar contacts. And now we have the Zeringa no open room fire. Still haven't identified the ships. There's definitely one destroyer and one other. Heavy gun. Battle cruiser. Wow, we bounced an engine room hit from a heavy gun at very short range. There's a 14 inch hit. Two more 14 inch hits. Another 14 inch hit. We took a hit. We take one hit. 14 inch hit to the battle cruiser. Three more 14 inch hits. Two more. There's an engine room hit that'll slow us down a bit. It's unfortunate, taking some flooding as well. So that'll be a permanent decrease in speed. There's one 14 inch hit. Maneuver because their destroyer has a solution now. The slower speed, we are more vulnerable. There's three more 14 inch hits. And yeah, we're slowly falling behind. And I don't think we're going to recover that since it was an engine room hit. So they'll get away. Unless the New Zealand wants to do independent action against them, which I will release them to do. We'll see what she does. We will head back and make sure these other ships have actually sunk. Oh, looks like the Italians are returning. Or not. Like we saw their radar contacts starting to head northeast, but... This should be it. Just a few more minutes and we'll be at the end of the scenario. And there we go. So three battle cruisers for one heavily damaged Zeringan. No aircraft lost. Italians did. Excellent. Well, they had headed to the northeast. There was a carrier with them as well. Gain two prestige. Battle of Saria. Great success. We have our carriers, destroyers, and battle cruisers all under construction. About a month ago, on the earliest releases of them, we've got a some of our ships in for refits. Speaking of which, nope, nope, that one's already upgraded. 
So we are good to go. Trance dominating, whatever. Skip bombing. Excellent. Okay, we have the... We are not being blockaded. The French probably are. Convoy attack in the location that's not very favorable to us. I'll take the hit. I mean, that's not too, too great. Oh, coastal raid. This ought to be interesting. These are not old cruisers, too. How fast do they even go? 25 knots. So they want us to raid the French. Over there, it is noon. They reportedly have medium bombers and dive bombers. We have 1100 minutes. Let's say go very fast and get out of that dive bomber range. We'll dive in once it gets to be nighttime. Level bombers we can deal with. Maybe. These are old cruisers. There's nightfall. Head back in, squad max. We should be able to take out this target, whatever it is. Unknown radar contact. I like radar contacts. Okay, just a merchant. Now a very holy merchant. Should be enough, I'm not going to stick around to find out. And here we go, unidentified land feature. Slow ourselves down. All right, you're there. Close to land, can't shoot it. Like, do we need to be? There we go. Then we'll lay into the bombardment target. Mission accomplished. Shoot and scoot. Time to get out of there. Oh, there's our target again. Oh, no, this is a different guy. Fast two. We're not going to chase it. Oh, I waited too long. I got distracted by the one guy. But it works out. One land target, one transport. Doobly-doo. What else did we have in here? Troll boat, merchant, merchant, troll boat, merchant. Okay. So I know they said there was a carrier in the area, and I was like, really? Gain one prestige, Battle of Haifang. Very successful. We are blockaded, though. Not so pleasant. Our unrest level is low, though. 
France has 100, Britain has 151. in service northern europe all right the wetton is fully operational and is there anything else i care about right now i don't think there is uh, what do they look like Eight fighters, four torpedo bombers. Yes, delay. Boyman is finished. One 2,000 pound bomb. That will hurt if it hits. Auto loader for six inch guns. Nice. Not surprised our ship was stopped. Now that we are no longer blockading them, there's plenty of merchants to sink. Cruiser action, medium in support of land combat. We have just destroyers. Is not good. But we will make the best of it. Yeah, because that is a heavy cruiser. Let's see if we can't launch. Come on, guys. You can do it. It's an ideal situation. All right. Now let's double back. Oh. That's it for the V-27. There's another hit on them. Another. And another. Head due east now. Will they follow us? Drop speed so our damage to the 27 can keep up. And we'll linger around here. I don't think she's coming back though. It is night time now. She retreated. Where would she have gone? Well, I think that's it. Quick running engagement for nightfall and the retirement of the Italian forces. We did do medium damage in that time. Medium damage to a destroyer for medium damage to a heavy cruiser equals we win. 22 shells. Great. Actually, let's take a closer look. She had permanent flooding of two. We dropped her one third in speed. All right, now let's try to get Goibin and the Wetton now, move into the Mediterranean. See if we can attrition the Italian forces some more. And we'll see if we can't get the Schwaben to be refit. And it's dominating, buying valiantly in roads. Braunschweig is finished.
oxygen-fueled torpedoes. Should make them a little harder to spot. Cruiser action, can't deny that. Some help from the British. And we have the Goibin and the New Zealand. There we go. Full speed. Cut off their line of advance. They are destroyers. These are screening a larger vessel then? I don't know. Got one of the destroyers with 14 inch shell and another one. And another one, and another one, and another one. That should take care of that destroyer. Give chase to the other one. If we'll shift targets, which of course we won't. Slow down? Why did she slow? Oh, that one's not going to make it now. And we close in on the stern of this destroyer. There's another shell. On another. And a couple more. And that's it. Oh, really? It tickled. I love that our capital ships are so well protected. Like, this is specifically why I love to play the Germans. You just crank up the subdivision and damage control, and it, you feel invulnerable. Get the Braunschweig down to the Mediterranean. Because of that, we will bring our Dachshunds back down to the Mediterranean. to think of it, probably didn't need to make that new destroyer class. The whole point to make a new one was to uh, put on dual 5 inch guns. Okay, we may take a look at setting an invasion target again despite the costs. Alright, there's another submarine. To give us good terms? Yeah, not, not surprised. Thermomechanically treated armor materials. Better armor. Battleship engagement. Italians have somewhat abandoned the area. Two battleships and a screen of destroyers. Oh, we have radar contact. Because we have the Braunschweig, our division is limited to 28 knots. That's okay. It's sufficient most of the time. And we can, of course, outpace them. More ships than I wanted to fight. As dawn arrives. Get some 5 inch shells into them. Nothing special there. Alright, all calibers hitting. Those are destroyers. Certainly weren't acting like destroyers. 
get ours involved. 14 inch hit. Alright, maneuvering. Receiving a heavy, but skipping off the turret. One 14 inch shell to the enemy. Conning, conning tower hit on the weapon. Secondary battery. Braunschweig hit by torpedo. How bad is it? Oh, there's flooding. Went and hit by torpedo. It tickled. One, two 14 inch hits, one nine inch. Let's maneuver back. Went and hit by another torpedo. Um, their destroyers are closing. It's gonna be uh, dicey. All right, 14 inch. Receiving a heavy round. We're pinned between two destroyers. It's not ideal. And our rudder is jammed? Oh no, it's still going. Went and hit by another torpedo. Now it's starting to add up. Several heavy rounds. We'll continue to turn away, try to reform up with the Braunschweig. And let our destroyers close in a bit. There we go, we have reformed with the Braunschweig. Capable? Yeah, 27 knots. He's just slow at the moment. Our destroyers will tear apart this Italian one. Don't launch torpedoes at a destroyer. Please, guys, knock that off. Get back over here. Real enemy is here. This will be their destroyers approaching us again. Alright, closing in on this destroyer. Shouldn't be able to handle too much of this. That should strip the screen. Since the Italians will now only have the one destroyer defending them. Do have to worry about enemy air. It'll take a while for them to get here. All right, now we can pursue. No recovery in speed. We might have trouble catching up. And there we go. We're being chased by another squadron. All right, we actually have visual. Firing at each other. One 14 inch shell hit on them. Went and takes a heavy shell. Oh, they decide to close. 14 inch hit. Let's see if we can get a decent angle for the armor. 14 inch shell hit. 14 inch. Now we should have to worry about torpedoes, so we'll weave back and forth. 
except visibility is getting absolutely atrocious at this point. 14 inch shell, two more 14 inch shell. See, and we have a good angle. So the engine room armor is enough to bounce the heavy shells. At such short range, too. Some of that might have been luck. There's another 14 inch shell. There's two more, although we received one. Penetrating. Another penetrating hit on us. Another penetrating hit on us. One 14 inch shell for them, though. Another hit on them. Another hit on them, and a heavy round that we skipped off our deck armor. Two more 14 inch shells. Another 14 inch shell, receiving one. And this could go either way. We could suddenly catastrophically lose the ship due to a magazine hit. We're going. They're slowing, so we're going to cut in because we don't want to be exposed to. Torpedoes, and we want to do that close raking hit. Uh, the Gilio says there. Outstanding. Eight 13 inch guns. Okay, so that's a lot less threatening. There we go, raking her as we pass by. Ronschweig doing the same. That should be that. I don't think she's going anywhere anymore. Turn around, our screen is in an amazingly great formation, except they're not in the right place. Do a drive-by. Got them with a couple torpedoes and another set of heavy rounds. Oh, we got one, despite maneuvering. Get our destroyers to be more aggressive. I don't want to give them a solution because of that. What, now hit by four shipboard torpedoes? How badly did it increase it? No, oh, that's not too bad. If we can't strip this ship of its escorts like we did the previous one. There we go, that's one. Running over de destroyers with a battleship like they're speed bumps. Although we're taking rounds now that I'm looking. That's a medium gun. Light. Medium. Hit by a torpedo at that range? That is not good. Yeah, that is very bad. I would not have expected them to be able to hit with torpedoes at that range. Ah, that's not the one I want. 200 yards. Okay. That's enough to arm a torpedo. That's unfortunate, though. And my own fault. Turn away. Tell me the wetten is going slow. They aren't. Slower than max, that's good. We may lose her though. That is a lot of flooding. She has 15 minutes ish, or 15 turns to control the flooding. Not sure how many turns that was.
Oh, she might make it. Depends on if that 40 is permanent or not. Two hits on the enemy target, which I think is a cruiser, because we keep getting peppered by medium guns. Nope, that's a heavy. Marco Polo, 14-inch guns. Ever Faithful Braunschweig closing. Three hits in the last two minutes. There's another one. And another, although we take a hit to the engine room. Another hit. Another hit. Uh, lost a turret. Oh, or disabled turret. Rudder damage. That's unfortunate. A couple more penetrating hits. At close range, a couple more penetrating hits at close range. Braunschweig no longer feeling good, and the rubber rudder now jammed the other way. Got a couple hits of our own, though. Trading hits. One hit for us, one hit for us. Ooh, that's not ideal. Avoiding torpedoes. Not sure how they're avoiding them since their rudder's jammed. Wow, rudder jammed for a long time. Gonna be avoiding torpedoes again. There we go, now we have maneuverability. We're down to 16 knots though. Is that faster? Than what we have seen. And where is the weapon? No permanent flooding. Excellent. She will make it as long as the bulkhead does not burst. So let's close in with the target we were chasing. Uh, heavy seas. She has shipped some water because she's so low in the water. That's unfortunate. We we could still lose the wetting just due to the sea state. Yeah, she's continuing to ship water. It has pumps. Just pump it out. All right, we have sight, have reopened fire. Weather's improving now. I mean, the sea state's still very bad. There's two 14-inch hits. There's another one. There's another 14-inch hit. What's their status? They have no aft turrets. Hmm, excellent. Two more. 14 inch hits. As they're doing about 10 knots, let's find out. We can just pace them. Two hits. Hey, right, there we go. She's come to a full stop. She's still moving a little. Alright, that should take care of her. Yes, yes. You can stop wasting your torpedoes. <clears throat> there is a target up here as well, so we can't end the combat quickly. S15 goes down. Oh, the wind keeps shipping water. She's, she's going to go down. Yep, next time we're going to lose her. At least we got two Italians.
such a sad result. We'll go pick up survivors. Should be automatic, we said yes to all. And we will retire to Lindos. We did get the two Italian capital ships. Counts as a major victory for us, but you'll notice the total points are not too different. Actually, oh, too late now. Battle of Rhodes. As he's upset, we lose a prestige. Not a surprise, but we did just bring more ships into the Mediterranean. We've got that refit or original build. That's original build, that's refit. You can tell by the cost. Also, this one's already been outfitted with a radar. That and we know we've been fighting with the Zeringan, the Lothringan. I don't recall us having fought with yet. But with that, I uh, can almost guarantee you another battle. And I only have two minutes left, and I tend to run long. So this one's going to tend to run a little bit short. So with that, looking forward to what 1943 holds for the German Empire in the Great Central European War. Thank you for staying to the end. Let me know what you think, leave a comment, what do you like, what do you not like, and I'll see you next time. Take care.